Hey, 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 you got Ash Head here, Cigar Junkie, and today I am doing a review for Quarantine and Chill on the Syndicato Cigar. I've already been into the cigar smoking it, and it has a pigtail on this particular cigar, and guys, this has been a great full-bodied cigar. I've already been into it, I've already been smoking it, but I had to stop. Because while I thought it was just was just very unfair for me to be enjoying this great cigar while I'm quarantined and chilling and not give you guys a recommendation for while you're quarantining and chilling. Hey, what I like about this, this cigar was on the initial draw, bold, spicy, creamy flavors from the beginning. And as I I got into the beginning of the second third of this cigar, it was burning a little funny. I've touched it up. Um, um, I'm going to ask you guys a question in just a moment because I think the reason why it's burning a little funny because it's my fault. So I need you guys help. I really, really need you all's help in the comment with this, in the comments with this. And I'm going to explain to you what I need your help on. But first, I just want to talk about this cigar just for a moment, just for a brief moment. I just want to tell you because you may be interested in knowing what tobaccos are in this. This is all Nicaraguan. This is a, um, Nicaragua, a Nicaraguan wrapper, a Nicaraguan binder and a Nicaraguan filler in this particular cigar. And you are going to love it. While you're quarantined and chilling, you may be thinking something more mild and not bold and not full body, but this is a full body cigar that I am positive that you can live with while quarantined and chilling. So, to my question the last four to five cigars that i have had have been all different brands of cigars um different makes and models <laughs> yeah i used to be a car salesman guys that's why um, i just said that that's probably why i talk a lot too because i used to be a car salesman they say car salesmen talk a lot but we're not fast talkers we just talk a lot let church say amen my question is this okay i'm gonna give the scenario then i'm gonna ask my question the last four to five cigars that came out of my humidor all have canoed or started to canoe and corrected themselves this one even did a mouse hole now i know out of five different brands that traditionally burn very well that it can't be those five cigars burning the way they were burning could it the question is could it possibly be my humidors humidity being too high that can cause the tobacco to burn weird or could it be the way i'm lighting the cigars that can cause the tobacco to burn weird. Carson, why is that important when you're having a great time enjoying a great cigar? When the cigar tastes great, smells great, everything is great except for the burn. Why is that important? Because there may be somebody who may be looking at this cigar and they be, may get turned off because of the way this cigar is burning and I don't want anybody to get turned off because of my cigar review because of the way a cigar has been burning so answer my question in the comment below could it be me am i the problem am i the cause of this weird burn that's happening to this cigar and has happened to several other cigars now it's going to be important to know where the humidity the last time i checked the humidity of my humidor was above 80. i thought that was too high i left the humidor open for a day closed the humidor um i didn't recheck the, the humidity then but i should have checked the humidity then because 
then I would have known that the humidity was at a correct place where I wanted it to be. Because I would like for it to have been between 65 to 75, which I find is a very, very good range for my cigars. Because this cigar is also feeling a little soft. So, maybe I just answered my own question. But help me out, guys, in the comment below. Hey, is my humidity too high? Am I lighting it incorrectly? Let me know what am I doing wrong. My more seasoned cigar smokers, let me know what I'm doing wrong. But back to this great stick, guys. I have really been enjoying this stick, and that's why this stick is my pick for quarantine and chill. I had to take a pull and taste. I was talking too much. I had to take a pull and listen to these birds. Listen to these birds. Hey, remind us. If the birds are singing, that means everything is good. Everything is safe. You know, <clears throat> I do a lot of outdoors things. And when I'm in the outdoors, if I don't see any birds or hear any birds, then I assume that there's possible danger in the area because I don't hear the birds singing or I don't see a lot of birds. That could be because I'm in the woods and the birds look at me as being a potential danger. But the birds are reminding me that, you know what? Ash head, why you quarantined and chill? Everything is going to be all right. So I stopped by to tell you nothing more than that everything is going to be all right. There's no need to worry, people. There's no need to fear because everything is going to be all right. Let's try to do this, guys. Let's try not to worry about things that we cannot control. Let's try not to worry at all. But most importantly, try not to worry about things that we cannot control, but to just walk by faith and not by sight. Back to the cigar. Let y'all take a look at that. I'm hoping it's focusing properly. Excellent. Excellent stick. Let me drop it down a little bit just in case. Make sure it's in the camera shot. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It holds this ash very well. Um, shoot, before I start shooting the video, the ash was out to here. And it was, I had to ash it just so I can try to correct the burn on it. Just to make sure. But it's still slightly canoeing on me. But it's kind of fixing itself. It's kind of fixing and, and, and starting to, you know, even out here as we approach the final third of this cigar and this is a phenomenal this is a great one i know initially in the video i talked about the initial flavors that i'm tasting but as i get to this point of the cigar i still got that bold bold creaminess i still got a hint of pepper and just flavor field it's just flavor field it's it's just Flavored the way satisfyingly flavored, I'll say. The best description. It's just satisfyingly flavored to where it's like not too much going on. It's just enough in this bold cigar. Very bold. Full body and demanding. And it lets you know that, hey, you are definitely smoking the right cigar at this very moment. So while you're quarantined and chilling and you need a good stick, go to your local cigar shop and ask them, do you got this baby right here? Just pull up my video, show them, hey, I was listening to Ash Head Cigar Junkie and he said the, sy the syndicata is the best cigar for quarantine and chill can you get me one real fast so that i can quarantine and chill 
this is the cigar I want to do it with. Also, um, just before I leave you guys on this quick review, I want to let you, I want to give a shout out to the local cigar shops in my area. And on the other video, I shouted out Cigars and More for the great job that they're doing to help us all stay safe during this time. I would like to shout out the Humidor Room and everything they're doing to as far as staying open and as far as keeping us safe during this time of our cigar needs so shout out to those guys thank you guys for one staying open thank you guys for two making sure that we consistently keep our hands clean and sanitized so that when we pick up our cigars we will not be spreading anything to others so thank you guys for all that you do thank you guys for listening thank you guys for checking out my video I also want to encourage everybody to like to subscribe and to hit that bell so that you can know every time I post a video there's gonna be another episode coming there's gonna be more reviews in this quarantine and chill series so stay tuned there is a lot to come from Ash Head Cigar Junkies if you want this Ash Head and Cigar Junkie art let me know we can get you the Ash Head Cigar Junkie art done by none other than Ash Head Cigar Junkie Aren't y'all proud of me? That's some good work, huh? My daughter is responsible for the logo. She is an art major at the University of Alabama in Birmingham. That's UAB. She graduated from Alabama School of Fine Art and she does my logo. She's working on my introduction for my videos. When they come on, you hear a little music and you can bop a little bit and be like, oh, Ash Head got it going on. You know, so stay tuned. There's going to be a lot to come and there's going to be um, a lot more that I will have to offer you guys. Remember, while you're quarantined and chilling, pick up this great stick. And remember, like the birds are singing, everything is going to be all right. Ash Head Cigar Junkie. Out. Some music should kick in right about now.